Hi guys and welcome back for another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michelle. I am a mommy of three boys, a uh, eight year old, a six year old, and a six month old actually. He just turned six months old on Saturday. So I am a mommy of three, I am a new YouTuber, and I would love to have you guys join in. So please subscribe if you're new and let me jump right into this. So this week I'm actually doing something really new, something I've never done before here on my channel. I'm actually doing a organizational kind of series of a week. So it's gonna be quite different for me. We actually just moved to our new house here two weeks ago. So I did have a lot of organization to do, so I am slowly doing that. So I thought, why not bring you guys along and show you what I am doing to organize our home. For those of you who have been following me and watching my videos for quite some time, you'll see that I have done a newborn dress organization. For those of you who have not seen that one and have a newborn, go and check out that video. Uh, and if you guys want to see this now, I don't know how much it has changed in six months. I haven't watched that video in quite some time. I kind of wanted to give you guys a real idea of where we are at organization, so I thought I'd jump right into it and show you this video. Also, if you like organization videos and you like this one, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing this all week long, so there will be some different kind of organization tips throughout my house, so don't forget to follow up daily for those videos. So I'm in his room now and he has the Ikea Hems dresser, if I'm pronouncing that properly. So it's just this white dresser. I really love the finish on it. I did mention that before as well. It's kind of like this antique chalk finish. It has some four smaller drawers at the top and then four bigger drawers at the bottom. So I'm gonna start from left to right. This is what I have in my first left drawer. So I'm actually using these Ikea inserts in the drawers which are perfect. In this drawer we actually have his diapers and they fit perfectly in here and he has his change pad sitting right up here. So that is definitely a wonderful spot to have them. So in this drawer right here, we have a mix of a lot of different things. So back here we have just some cloth wipes. We also use disposables, but these are the cloth ones that we'll use for his bottom. And then in front here we have a lot of things. So from here we have all of his diaper creams and we also have some hand sanitizer. In this um, little cubby here we have a bunch of different things. So all the pharmaceuticals, we have the colic um, water, we have his little toothbrush that we're not yet using because he has no teeth. We have his bronze thermometer that we really like. We have his D drops, he is breastfed so we do these D drops daily. Then just the thermometer, um, little disposable cap applicator things. We also have some Tylenol, this is great for teething for sure. Then we just have this little passy, um, it's graded for medicine, so we have that as well. We don't really use this, but we do have it. And then we also have a bunch of Camilla in the bottom, which is great for teething. I did uh, mention this in my teething must-haves video, so if you have a teething baby, definitely go and check that one out. And then we also have a little, um, what's that called, doser, I guess you call it. It comes with a Tylenol, but we do use it for multiple things. In the next drawer atop here, we have all of his um, face cloths, which we use for bath time. So these are all the bath time ones. We have his little cotton swabs that we'll use to clean out his ears. And this is just a tearless shampoo and wash. Right here we have all of his face cloths. These are actually Grovia um, reusable wipes, but we are using these for his face. They are the softest material. I absolutely love these by Grovia. We have this Aleva Naturals multi-surface spray, which I'm currently leaving here so that we can clean his change pad as needed and whatever else we have up here. And then here we just have some bandana drool bibs that I did feature in my teething must-haves video. In the fourth small drawer, again, we're still using these IKEA little cubbies. We have these little booties, so it is a winter climate here right now. So we have these assorted little winter booties, which are awesome. They stay on, they're fleece lined, with our, which are perfect. We have some socks at the front. Right here we have all of his pacifiers, so he's really enjoying the webinubs right now. So we have his webinubs, he actually has the other one downstairs. And then some more pacifiers and pacifier clips. At this back little cubby here we have all of his winter hats. He does have two in his diaper bag and one downstairs. But um, we do need a lot of these in case we lose one or forget one somewhere or just to get different colors for different outfits and stuff. So 
they're pretty cute so we have those there so now that we finished the four smaller drawers I'm gonna jump into the four bigger ones so for the top left one right here this is where we keep all of his pajamas and one pieces I wanted to mention that having this storage organization is definitely perfect for me to stay organized but it's also perfect when you have a husband or some friends or family or older children who want to help out it's perfect so right here we have his cotton pajamas now he has a few more they're probably in the wash right now um, so his cotton pajamas are here and then all of his fleece pajamas are here like I had mentioned many times we live in a really cold climate so having fleece pajamas in the winter time are definitely perfect and then he has all of his one-piece outfits here so he has different ones like these are just things that he'll wear during the day just to be comfortable so he has this little one here so he'll wear something like that just to be comfortable he also has this baby gap one so if we're going out somewhere and it's cold this is not like a pajama it's just like a nice warm one and then he has some more of them back there as well on this side here this is like his everyday clothing so here we have long sleeve onesie so we have like some nicer ones here for like more of a dress up and then we have all of his one piece onesies here so as you can tell I'm really into the neutral colors but I do like to classify them like this instead of on top of each other uh, this is the Mary Kondo way I guess I just find this is such a perfect idea of sorting clothes even for us and the older boys because you get to see all of the different prints and all of the different shirts if they were stacked the other way you would probably always be picking from the top or making a huge mess when you're trying to uh, sort out an outfit for him I am definitely enjoying this way of laying out clothing out front here we have all of his pants again like this is not all of his clothes we have some in the wash as well but this is just what's in the dresser at the moment if we have spares we leave them all along here and then back here we have his big zipper sweaters that we wear and then back here you can't see them and we don't have a lot right now are his short sleeved onesies we had a lot before the nine month mark but now that he's in nine month clothing and it's really really cold here we don't have a whole lot of the one piece onesies so I don't even know what to call this drawer. This is the bottom left drawer of the dresser. This is just my catch-all drawer. I know that I had this drawer as a catch-all and I don't remember exactly what was in it in my newborn dresser organization, but this is what we're carrying in it right now. So back here is just really miscellaneous. We have like a, a seven slings ring sling that I don't really use because we do have the Sakura Bloom ring sling that we enjoy wearing. So we have that just as a spare. We also have like the conversions for his crib and um, some nuts and bolts and stuff for the dresser. More conversions for the crib. Just that kind of stuff. Back here we have the Owlette box with the different socks in it. Again, I love the Owlette. If you guys aren't sure what the Owlette is and you're interested, just by watching this video and seeing the box, I do have an Owlette video and I will link that one down below as well for you guys. I do have like the Lilla Baby... Um, uh, what's it called lumbar support which I don't really wear a whole lot but I probably will now that now that he's getting heavy I have like the little baby um, hood again the lily baby is a baby carrier which I absolutely love if you guys do want to see a review on the lily baby let me know in the comments down below and I will be able to do that for you guys then here I just have some Medela accessories I am using the Medela breast pump so I do have some of those uh, or over here I have some extra breast milk storage bags and just the steamer bag that I don't use a whole lot but I do have it in case I do need it. And then right here in this front little side of it I have the tooth and gum wipes by Aleva Natural, the hand and face wipes and then just some Natural Reflex um, kids sunscreen which we haven't used and I'll probably be looking for a different one come spring and summer but I do have that one as a spare. I also have this little boon spoon that we haven't used yet. Easton's just slowly starting to get into solids. I, like I said, he just turned six months old. So we might be using that. And then I just have this little thing to hold bottles and sippy cups um, to strap them down so they don't fall. Again, he is breastfed, so we're not really using bottles, but I did. this was given to me, so we might use it eventually. And here we just have some extra breast pads. And here we just have some manuals and some of these little cards that we've been using and um, some cords and stuff for different electrical things that we have. 
All right, in the last dresser here on the right hand side, we just have all of his blankets. So we have re receiving blankets at the back that we're not really using. And then um, my little baby blanket that I had when I was a baby and my dad had as he was a baby. So that's very sentimental. We have some sleep sacks here and a wool blanket that was knit by uh, one of our family friends and then some extra, um, what's it called? Crib mattress pads. Then back there we have some more blankets and then all here, all the way down, we have about 12 muslin swaddles. So we have um, the Koala Baby brand ones, we have the Aiden and Anai brand ones. We have a whole lot of these. Easton absolutely loves these and so do we. So we've had these from when he was born until now and they are perfect. He uses them as his lovey now. I'll use them when I'm nursing or to cover up his car seat or just to give him something soft to hold on to. Anyways guys, that's all I had to show you for how I organize my six month old baby's dresser. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel and you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And like I had mentioned earlier, I am doing organization videos all week long this week as my first little series uh, thing on my channel. So if you want to see those, don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you don't miss when I post a video.